Okay guys, I know it's dark. I promise the rest of the video is going to be much, much better. But I couldn't like make myself forget to film this because I'm finishing up door, door dashing tonight. I'm currently in the McDonald's drive-thru waiting for my food because I'm a pig. But I had the craziest experience tonight. Don't forget about this experience because I want to film obviously when it's light out and currently I don't know I filmed a vlog but I think this video I don't know which video is gonna be pushed out first um, this guy is really rude by the way and I'm pulling up but my camera is not working right now how you doing you know, miss? Thank you. How are you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good. You look amazing tonight. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I figured I'd give you a compliment based off your walk. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope that made your night. Thank you. Oh. Thanks. Can tonight just be over? Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Okay, so I was just trying to remind you myself to tell you guys about a story. Um, I wanted to do it when I go door dashing again in a couple days because I have an opportunity where it's quiet. It'll just be me and you guys. Oh, now you can't see anything. Um, I, I just basically had a really crazy experience today door dashing. This guy absolutely creeped me out and that's why... Is there like a subtle light? Oh my goodness, it's now pitch dark. Okay, we'll just pretend like we're... Oh my god, that's too bright. Okay guys, so I actually meant to film this yesterday, but I... My dashing... Don't worry, I like literally just got in my car. Um, my dashing schedule has sort of changed, so I'm not really working mornings as much as I was. So it's a little bit later in the evening, you can kind of tell the sun is setting, but I need to tell you this story and I'm getting afraid that like I'm waiting too long and it's not going to be fresh or I'm going to forget something. So let me set the scene for you guys, okay? And I am going to talk while we're driving, cause just unless I find a good place to like, maybe I can pull over here real quick where it's shady. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> let's just get out of the road. All right, that's good for a sec. All right, so let's set the scene. So I was on a DoorDash. Oh, sorry, my blinker's on. I was on a DoorDash and I had to go to like a pizza shop, right? I've never been to this pizza shop. I gotta put my blinkers on, guys, sorry, because I'm like pulled over and I'm sort of in the road still. Um, so I walk in and immediately there is an older gentleman and I don't think anything of him. He's like sitting down. I'm assuming he's waiting for food. I'm gonna put on my blinker when I see cars coming. Um, I see him waiting for food. Don't even think about him, go up to the counter, say that I'm picking up for whatever the person's name was. I can't remember at this point. They tell me it's gonna be a few minutes. So I said, okay. So I just took my phone. I found a table to sit at, cause I, I don't like being one of those customers that, oops, forgot to put my blinker on, sorry guys. I don't like, I'm gonna pull over a little bit more. Um, I don't like to be one of those customers that like stand at the counter. Like it's not gonna make your food come out any faster. So I go take a seat, get comfortable, let the workers do their thing. So I'm sitting there and he, whenever I feel like somebody's approaching me or wants to talk to me, they'll kind of start small talk. So the first thing that he said was, oh, I, before you walked in, like I was the first I was the person with the longest hair in the room and he had a hat on so I didn't see his hair at first but then he like pulled it to show me a ponytail and it was probably like I don't know that long but it was like white and curly like he was an older guy like probably 60s later 60s and you know I just kind of laughed it off because Unless somebody asks me, oh, how long did it take to grow your hair? Like, is that your real hair? Like, ask me a question that, like, I don't, I don't lie that I'm wearing extensions, but if somebody just, like, comments on it saying, oh, I love your hair, or, like, your hair is pretty, or 
wow, it's so long, I just say thanks. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a lot easier than, oh, it's fake, <laughs> you know, to explain to a stranger. But if then they said, oh, like, how long did it take to grow that? I'd be like, well, you know, they're, they're extensions. And, you know, then we start a conversation with that. So with this guy, I just said, thank you, you know. I just kind of laughed it off, didn't get into it. A few minutes go by. He's now talking to like another customer in the dining room. The place wasn't enormous, but it wasn't tiny either. So you could see everyone, but like you had a distance. So anyways, he stops his conversation with this person and then proceeds to come back over to me, which I'm sitting down at this point. I'm like on Instagram or something, I don't know. And he starts this conversation and this is why I was getting afraid that I would miss details because I don't remember how he started the conversation I just remember bits and pieces of what we talked about and then of course the parts that made me really uncomfortable so at first you know I just thought he was you know some guy if you're I, I don't mean to sound like narcissistic or anything but if you if you're an attractive younger woman like you're pretty used to getting approached either super aggressively or kind of like they're like kind of dodging asking you any questions sort of thing but like want to talk to you but don't really know how so whenever someone starts um, small talk with me and it's a gentleman I usually assume it's because he's attracted to me but I don't like come off that way I never come off like mean I'm not like oh I'm not interested I always give that person the time of day whether or not I know their intentions right off the bat or not you know um, so I always try to give them the time of day I always try to laugh and smile and be friendly just because that's who I am and it might not be the best thing in the world to be like that but I'm I'm like that I'm very very shy but if somebody comes up and talks to me like I try to give you the best part of me you know so I'm talking to this guy I'm laughing at his dumb jokes and <laughs> I think he really liked that because he kept talking to me and this was like 15, 20 minutes. I mean, I was waiting quite a while for my DoorDash order and I was like, hurry up, like, please hurry up, get me out of this weird situation. So anyways, he's talking to me and the conversation is like, this always happens if the person is like attracted to you, they'll come up talk about something random and then like slowly but surely those more intimate questions will come out so eventually the question of oh where is your boyfriend comes out and I said well actually I said my husband he's uh said he's at home with my daughter right now and he says oh your husband he's like oh yeah I'm married too and uh, as he's telling me this his phone starts ringing and like he had it on full volume so like everyone in the in the um, a store can hear this guy's phone ringing and he keeps like hanging it up like be butting it I don't want to you know I'm trying to censor it but be but butting it buttoning it <laughs> and he says oh that's he said oh that's actually my wife that keeps calling me and I said oh like you know she seems pretty upset <laughs> she keeps calling he's like yeah man what I like totally shrugged off that his wife is blowing up his phone so I'm like okay he says, yeah, he says, she keeps calling me. He's like, I'm picking up some food now. Now I'm gonna go to the bar. And he asked me if I'd ever been to this bar. And I said, no, I'm, I, I don't know. He kind of seemed like a motorcycle guy. That's kind of what I got from him. So I was thinking it would be like a dive bar sort of thing. And I said, no. And he's like, oh yeah. He's like, I'm gonna just have a little drinky poo and then go home. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. And then I don't even know how this came up, but I know it happened after like telling me that he was going to go out and get a drink. He says something along the line of if we were having a conversation like a couple hundred years ago, he gave me a weird date, uh, we would be speaking German. He's like, true story, history. Okay. And then he proceeds to say something in German. I don't remember what he said it translated to and he says I only know that because I am German and I said oh I said I wouldn't know that because I'm Puerto Rican like I'm trying to be funny you know I'm laughing he says oh he says you're Puerto Rican so he comes over to me mind you I'm still sitting at this table he's just kind of been like standing there lingering at the end of it he comes over and like grabs the back of the chair like across from me and he goes <clears throat> pretend you guys are me right so he comes over, he grabs the back of the chair, and he goes, 
He's like, oh, you're Puerto Rican. He goes, I have a friend who's Puerto Rican, right? And he's like, he keeps saying these things to me and I don't think that they're actually nice things because he keeps saying them in Spanish, but then he's like laughing afterwards and he's like, maybe you can tell me um, what they mean. Oh, I forgot something important. I, th I was afraid I was gonna forget this, but when I told him, oh, I wouldn't know that that's German, I'm actually, oh, I got an order, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm actually almost done with the story, but I gotta go do this order. But I don't know when I'm gonna be able to film this next. So he comes up to me, and when I told him I wouldn't know um, what that means in German because I'm Puerto Rican, but I don't speak a lick of Spanish. I told him that. I don't know if he heard it, but he comes up nice and close to me. And he goes, okay, he says something in Spanish. He goes, what does that mean? And like looks at me and kind of like waits for a reaction. And I said, I don't know. I said, I just don't speak Spanish. And he goes, oh, he said, my friend told me that it means big, big on a woman, like on a woman. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, at this point, I'm not hiding anymore how I feel about the conversation. I was like, I was like, Oh, what? I think I got so red. He's like, oh no. He's like, I didn't mean it like offensively. He's like, that's what just he told me it means. And then he says, and then he always says um, another Spanish word and it means big tatas. And I'm like, what? We are in the middle of this pizza house. Like people at this point can tell that I'm super uncomfortable. Even the staff can tell that I'm uncomfortable. Thank God, like two seconds after he said the whole big tata thing, they ended up calling him for his food and then right after they called him they told me that i was ready so i let him leave as soon as i got my food i said all right well you have a great night i said i gotta get on my delivery so he like leaves he leaves kind of quick too so i let him leave i'm just smiling the second he's out the door i turn around to the girl behind the counter and i'm like come here come here come here i'm like i don't mean to like freak you out i said but he just he was a little bit off i said he kind of made me uncomfortable i said i just don't want to go out there it's dark maybe i'm just a paranoid person or maybe i watch like too much crime stuff i said i just don't want to go out is it okay if i like hang out for here for a couple minutes she's like oh yeah no i saw the whole thing he was totally being weird like you can hang out so i <laughs> i ended up hanging out in that pizza shop for a couple extra minutes even a gentleman who saw the whole thing the whole time who was watching the whole thing offered to walk me out to my car but i said oh no i said i can see it from like i could see my car from the window but there was probably like a good 15 20 feet from the door to the car which is plenty enough time for someone to kidnap you anyways guys i gotta get going um but that was my very first doordash experience that was completely crazy <sighs> I, I go through these things but in the end i know that i'll get story time out of them so maybe i don't mind anyways guys i love you so so much if you enjoyed this story time please leave a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss any new videos hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next one <laughs> Bye.